If you're not familiar with Betty Frazier, wait a minute and you will be. This fun-loving, self-taught chef has become a media darling, appearing on Rachel Ray, The Today Show, and Bravo's hit series, Top Chef. So how did Betty make it big in Hollywood? It all started with the original Betty, Betty Crocker. So exciting to be in your second home, but I kind of feel like it is your home because it is a house. It is a house. It's a converted 1920s bungalow that we just fell upon. Uh, my fantastic business partner, Denise, and I started a catering company about ooh, 20 years ago. And about 12 years ago, we found this little space. And we've just been blessed by amazing customers who want to come in and try our California comfort food. Been Speaking fun. about comfort food, you know, I always think of the kitchen and home and, and, and making really yummy meals. Yeah. How did you start out? I mean, way back when, when I was a child, there weren't a lot of Bettys around. So when I finally found the Betty Crocker cookbook, I found Kinship. And so I would read it like a novel. And I really, really wanted to learn how to cook. Betty's early calling for creating various styles of comfort food is what motivated her to open Grub LA, which has turned into a community hotspot for locals. That seems to be what, what really speaks to me, because I'm not, I'm self-taught. I never went to culinary school. I was really stimulated by the process of cooking. It's not just the smells and the warmth. It's what a kitchen it means to people and what mom and grandma used to represent. I really think that's where comfort food's roots are. It's, you know, the love that you felt by being close to your family and sharing you know, savory, wonderful deliciousness over conversation and, you know, it all equals happiness and at the end of the day. And you brought that to your restaurant. Yeah. As yeah. we said, this is a, a converted home into yeah. a restaurant and I feel like I'm at home. What kind of dishes do people have here? Some of the ones that we really do well with is our after school special. If you notice the menu, we've got really, really playful names on things. And it is a homemade creamy tomato soup with a magnificent grilled cheese. I mean, we, were, we tested all the sourdough in the world so that we could find the perfect tangy sourdough. And we put a dill butter on it and we use a sharp cheddar and a Swiss. And it's just something that when it comes to your plate, it visually stimulates you. And then when you take that first bite, it just brings you back home. So being here, it just works. Betty has definitely conquered comfort food, but she also serves up great desserts. And her latest creation? An apple cheese crumble. Mm. And one of the beauties of crumbles and things like that, and watch for this in cooking competitions, there are chefs and there are bakers. Chefs don't know how to bake. So if we get thrown a dessert, we're usually gonna make a bread pudding or a crumble. Watch it, I guarantee. <laughs> I mean, I look around your restaurant here and I see, you know, you were on Top Chef. That was a crazy, crazy season two for you. Yeah. But you've also won many awards here. Yeah, we really have. We've been really lucky. Uh, best breakfast, best brunch, best lunch, best place to dine alone, because we're so friendly. It definitely sounds inviting. But what is Betty's advice to those looking to start their own culinary business? You know, I know a lot of viewers are probably thinking, well, I have some good meals that I cook at home. How can I take <laughs> what I love to do in my home and start a business? I think it takes passion and it takes drive. Because I get to wake up every morning and do what I love to do. I get to cook. If you have a desire, just start small and take baby steps. You know, I was going through a divorce. I was, you know, reinventing myself and all of this stuff has luckily for my business partner and I turned into something really wonderful. Betty always has encouraging advice and is truly living her dream by cooking and sharing her recipes with others. She even let me help her make that famous apple crumble. And how did it taste? Mmm, Betty, that is delicious. <laughs> Good. If you are in the LA area and you're looking for some great grub, come on down to Grub LA and meet Betty Frazier, chef extraordinaire. <laughs> and you can learn more details about this recipe at athomewithddr.com. This is amazing, Betty. Yay! Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Thanks for coming by.